Welcome to my quest guide on the new Xander's Quest. This requires the Vault of Shadows mini quest completed, 70 divination, 58 archaeology, 58 prayer, 58 agility, and then it's suggested to have completed the quest Desperate Measures. Now the items required is only a Slayer Belt. However, if you have completed the Heart of Stone, you want the Blank Observation. Some other items you will need is a Wicked Hood, a Desert Amulet or a Method to Teleport to Gower Dungeon 2, a 6th Age Circuit, a Tokozo Ring, a Memory Strand, which actually could be in your Currency Pouch, an Art Journal, Invitation Box, some food and an Excalibur. If you do not have most of these items, you can actually find them at the storage chest south of Varrock Lodestone and then just reclaim whatever you do need. As you see, the ring is here, the invitation box, the blank observatory, and now to actually start the quest, you want to make your way to the Birth Orb Lodestone. Once you teleport it, make your way north and climb up the castle. Hit option 1 to start the quest. Now we will want to speak to this NPC, a raise the or whatever. <coughs> now, I'm going to be skipping a lot of the dialogue. But basically, uh, Saren will be growing a little too much powerful because of her power. And that power is to manipulate people all to her side. And I guess this is dialogue? Let me see. Boss ...of the Zerosian Empire. I maintain civilization and the rule of my lord against all those who called themselves gods. I am very familiar with Saren's influence. We can no longer rely on this council. They are completely under her sway now. In time, they will recover their initiative, but for now, they are nothing but puppets. <sighs> Disappointing, but not unexpected. Saren is obsessed with the adult elder gods. Her guilt and shame blind her to the true threat. It is not the adults who are destined to destroy us. It is their unborn children. If they wake, they will devour this world, and in time, all worlds. If the best these fools can do is waste their time on senseless appeasement, then it falls to us to save them. We must find the Elder God Eggs. We must stop them hatching. Well, now that that's done, you kind of know like the gist of it pretty much. As Serene, her power is to influence people, which is an issue. And then Icarim and Armadale will talk to you, however, they will not help you. Afterwards, you can click on the quest journal, and it should say, to meet him inside the excavate of Alcria basically. So with your archaeology journal, right click teleport. Just go west and then you'll see this desert site map on the desk. Click it. And then you'll want to go for this one. Or you could hit the letter K on your keyboard. And then run west. Go through the entrance. <clears throat> A 
hit option one, main fortress, and you want to go south. There we go. Keep going south and go a little east until you see a table, like right here, and then you want to speak to a Xandarin right now. Now, talking to him, you'll discover that only three of the five elder gods have eggs. As, let me see. Here we go. Ma never laid an egg, and then Jazz sacrificed her egg to become the Stone of Jazz, which has since been destroyed. So there's only three Elder God eggs that we need we need to get rid of. So he'll tell you that the first one is on Ferniske. Once that is done, teleport with your sixth age circuit, and then you want to go to the World Gate. Now if you did not complete the quest to actually get here, to get that weapon to teleport, you have a very long run. That'll be from the Eagle's Peak Lodestone right here, and then just run south all the way. Next up you want to speak to a Xandarin, and you should get a little cutscene or like a little flash thingy. It'll tell you that to go back to the Elder Halls, however, just uh, teleport to a prison escape on the first option. And it's very, very dangerous, which is why you'll want sharks. Next up, speak to him. And then, pretty much, you want to follow him. So, if you have NXT, you can actually see him sometimes. So kind of like a ranger map, and then right here, how I took that 50, this environment does damage you. What you want to do is pretty much make your way to a Xandrin if you do see him. Now in March my screen a little bit, and then you kind of want to like travel through the terrain. It can be dangerous, like if you're on these, what? If you're on these guys, what? Hmm. Oh, okay, well that was a dumb click box, but okay. So, let's make our way to him for the... What? Oh my gosh. Can't click through anything. That's nice. I'll, sadly, I'll be skipping this part because, I mean, it's basically like a giant agility course. You want to find the NPC, a total of three times, and then ask him for all the options. And then right here is like the first one. It's pretty annoying since I mean the click boxes in this place have always been terrible to deal with. So this is the very first time of finding him. And he said you could go faster and then just tell uh just again ask him all options and just say let's move on. And then found him a second time. And again, this is like an agility course, it's just one way. It's just kind of annoying that everything has a terrible click box delay. And he'll tell you a lot of dialogue and then boom. Now let's go find him for the last and third time, which he should be just north all the way. Okay. Turns out I didn't even need to bring food. This is the third time to talk to him. And these click boxes are disgusting. Like, it's just bad. Pretty much space bar and he'll tell you that well he'll tell you the reason why he chose to touch the archaeology monolith to activate it which I'm not sure if I should spoil it for some people that have yet to start archaeology or even paid attention to him doing the animation where he kind of like empowers it and then just keep going uh, east. Once you're finally here, let me see, there should be. Oh, okay. Well, 
Okay, there we go. I did go the right way. Cross the bridge rock. And now we speak to him for the fourth time. You know, tell him, let's hurry up and then that the paws are just up ahead. So, go through the opening. From here, it'll tell you that someone else is here and it's Arania. And this NPC, since we did kill uh, Exidrin, or I don't know how to pronounce her name. But anyway, she's been having some flashbacks or memories that the adults, they are perfectly fine, but the elder eggs themselves are the issue. Once that is done, she'll tell you to investigate all five eggs. Each egg is pretty much in the corner, so you want to go to all the corners and just let me say, here we go, like this. Investigate Fragment Spear. This is one of the eggs which I believe is Maw that is broken. Let's see, the eggs are all the same shape. Wouldn't you expect that? I suppose, but I've met Jad and I've met Ma, and they were very much alike. Hard to believe they're the very kind. Oh, okay. So, huh, I'm not really sure which Ma egg or elder egg this is. But, I mean, if I do remember. Their eggs, I mean, one of those was a stone of jazz. I mean, that was huge, huge. And I think it's still there in the Tormented Demon area. And then let me see. Huh, and then Arena says, it's possible you only saw Jazz's head? Instead of like the whole body, it says, you know, he was like a clockwork mechanism, so I guess that was his head only. We'll have to see. But, that is the first spear. Now, get oh, it looks like a rainy cracked the case. That fa is the fire element. We is ice or water. And then, bike is earth or nature. And I guess jazz is time and space. And then, we don't actually know if there is a time room. But maybe there's new runes to be discovered, which means we might get a rune crafting update. Which I mean, that's going to be pretty interesting. Maybe rune crafting might be the next 120. Who knows? Going over the next egg, which is the southeast, I believe. Apparently, well, I mean, we're assuming this wall. I mean, where? The ice did something to Maul's egg to sabotage it so that it was unable to be born. And then Xanaro says this was not Wen's doing. He says that the magical essence has a resonance, a flavor if you will, or a smell. The whole place is sufficed in Maul's resonance, a resonance that I of all Majra share with her. And how can he detect that? It's because he can like sense it. it's his sixth energy. I mean his sixth sense. Uh oh. In fact, the smell remembers him of Zimmerigal NPC. Ooh, well that's gonna be pretty interesting. We might be seeing him in the next quest. Now, the Stone of Jazz previously, apparently that egg, over the centuries or whatever amount of time, the egg's power was actually getting weaker by the time Lucin attained it. The egg was, I mean, it was still powerful, but it was, like, lacking in power, which means that egg was bound to be, like, I don't want to say dead, but the... Offspring was supposed to be unborn anyway because the egg's power was releasing. Next up, we'll come to this egg. And turns out, a Xandarin, he's only about 7,500 years old. Or however, a few hundred years is. He did say that 
the world was only 7,000 years old, and he's only a few years older than that, and that he is the strongest of this tribe. And that Frenisque was a much harder environment than Gilinor was, even though Gilinor had the God Wars. Like, it was constant battle for centuries. Once you have talked to all five eggs, you want to speak to Xandarin in the middle again. And he'll tell you that this is like getting nowhere. We're just discovering the history of the eggs. And you'll notice that we have the blank observer observation thingy. And he'll tell us to collect 50 of five energies. So in like each corner, so just collect 50. And I'll be back once I have collected all of them to save time. Now that we have 50 of all four energy, you want to insert the blank observation and then it'll combine into the charged. Then we speak to a Xandarin once again and tell him that we have collected all of the memories and we'll give him it. And then he'll like kind of make a sense out of all of the fragments of the four other five eggs and then you'll get a cutscene like this green and flourishing a perfect womb for the sleeping gods within their shells they slumbered in a yoke of incredible power the currents of magic drove more and more energy into the eggs until they reached a bursting point Sensing the impending birth of their young, the adults pressed in close. With a touch, they imparted their identities and their memories. The eggs burst open and the hatchlings within emerged ravenous. Their mere presence drained all life from the cavern around them. Within moments, every other living thing nearby was dead, drained of all life. Nothing could stop them. The world was doomed. Further and further, their reach expanded, blanketing everything. Minutes later, Frenesque was a desolate husk. The sated hatchlings traveled out into the universe to remake it. In time they grew old, and hid eggs of their own beneath the surface of Gilinor. When they hatch, our world will suffer the same fate as Frenesque. We must stop them. Somehow. Uh, that cutscene, it discovers that not the elders, not the adults, not even their offspring, but the offspring's offspring will destroy the future of Gilinor, unless it's their offspring of the adults. I'm not quite too sure how. And then next up, he will tell you to talk to Trindine on Thalador. And then you'll say that one of the gods is missing, and I think it would be Ceridomen, which is why they don't want. Now that we're at the Thalador castle, you want an extra Thalador teleport, and as we enter, Sir Untispicious, so, wait, Sir Untispicious, Sir Ruptus, I don't know. Well, anyway. This NPC will talk to you and then she'll tell you that she is someone in disguise and you want to go upstairs now. Immediately go east. Climb up. Go through the door. Through the other door. And up the ladder. From here, go west and open this door. Open another door. And then lastly, climb up the staircase. From here, talk to Father Friend. And he'll say, do you want Sarah Doman's light? As in, Sarah Doman will bless you. 
for this you can just I would say just any option but basically it would tell you that Sir Doman is not on this universe he is out trying to get other faith click on the quest journal apparently there is a temple knight on the ground okay now go down the stairs and then go east and down this ladder we will need to be speaking to Sir Owen who is here uh, let me see okay here we go Sir Owen Oop. and now for here he'll be telling you that the temple knights are far better than the white knights now hit option 2 and that since he is corrupted no one is pretty much paying much attention to him and he'll tell you to speak to that father friend so we go back up to father friend go back up the stairs now we talk to father friend he'll tell you to get Sardoman which he won't be able to that there's only one way to contact him but before that he tells us to speak to father pretty much the leader of the Valador castle so go downstairs and open the south door and now go west open this door keep going west open the north door and then climb up this set of stairs we'll be speaking to Sir Amic Versa and then hit option 1 to speak about the Xandarin's quest he'll tell you that the council is well you are actually talking that the council is moving too slow because for some reason they don't have proper gear they don't have enough military a lot of people are saying they're weak and that the temple knights are better and then Sir Owen will drag us to a corner and then talk to us he will tell us we need to actually make contact with him and then tell him about the people go down the stairs and then go back to the room where we were I see the first room and we'll be going to the ground floor of Thalador now so climb down this ladder and in the courtyard we will be speaking to Prometheus I think that's how you say his name hit option 1 and for here you will be telling him that these warriors are not warriors they are pretty much ill equipped and that they need to get better gear he's like what and then once that is done he'll say that is it really so hard to equip your soldiers properly he's like well we don't really like our people that much so it's fine after that let's see what the next one is we need to speak to Sir even to resolve or some reserve he lives behind the throne okay so now we go east climb up the ladder climb up the stairs and the south sir sir where is it? Oh, he's in a corner. Okay, no wonder why I couldn't find him. Hit option one to talk to him. And he'll say that he is very busy and that there is no armor he could possibly spare right now. He tell you that their plans, well they don't really have much plans. After that, head downstairs. Oh, that was actually weird how it went downstairs. Oh, this door's gonna close. Oh, yep, bad door. Okay, go back down the ladder. And now, let's. Oh man, all the doors are closing. 
Now let's open this cupboard to see all the plans the White Knights have been doing. There's a search. There we there we go. Ritual documents. There are several files, but none of them seem to be very important. So, the war documents he was supposedly doing, it was Sir uh, Saint Elizabeth's birthday note card. He's like, hmm, that's not really important, but it is important. It's just not for like the war. Now that we read the document, you want to go upstairs again? It's a lot of back and forth, but I mean, I like it pretty much. Then go west and, ooh, there's a safe for us to crack. Cool. And now, let's go crack this safe. Let's see, was it a three or a five there? And then Sir Owen, he got it. And it's too complicated and he'll give us the Saradomen summoning ritual. Which in turns out is quite easy as we need this slayer bell. I mean the slayer bell. Once their dialogue is done, he'll tell you that he was a Majorot who escaped Alcria, well, Kahet. Now with the slayer bell, you want to right click, cut clapper, 